Now in this section we'll discuss, we'll continue with the concept of VLANs like we have seen uh, in the previous session what is VLAN. VLAN divides one single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domains. Uh, it minimizes the number of broadcasts and improvises the performance on your networks. Now let us see what are the different types of VLANs we have and what's the difference between them. So majorly there are two types of VLANs we can create. Uh, we use something called static VLANs which is based on the port numbers and then we use something called dynamic VLANs, it's, it's based on the MAC address. So let's try to understand what's the difference between these two. So the first thing we'll, we'll start up with the concept of static VLAN. Now static VLAN, now before we get into the actual static VLANs, let us see how to create the VLANs on the switch. So in order to create the VLANs, we need to go to a switch and we just need to create a VLAN and VLAN number. So we need to say VLAN number and this number can be any number from 2 to 1001 and then we can give some name for the specific VLAN. Okay, so this is how we can create the VLANs on any switch and we can verify this by giving a command called show VLAN. Show VLAN is a command we can use for verification. So let us first try to uh, create a VLAN and then we'll come back uh, come back on, on the difference between the static and the dynamic VLANs. Okay, now I got a console uh, of one of the switch here. You can see the command line here. Uh, the first thing will verify the VLAN concept. I'll give show VLAN. Now by default, there will be only just one VLAN. You can see there's only one VLAN and, and all the ports are in the VLAN 1. And you can create the VLANs from 2 to 1001. So if you want to create the VLAN, we just need to go to the config mode as per our command line. Just give the number and name is optional. And similar way, I'm creating another VLAN, VLAN 20, and the name is uh, marketing something, and VLAN 30, VLAN 40, VLAN 50, like that we can create the VLAN. So we can either use 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. And if you verify show VLAN, if I give a command called show VLAN, I can see the VLAN VLANs are created. Now if I give the name, it will take the specific name. If you don't define any name, it is going to default take this uh, name, names like this. Now the next thing we'll see uh, what is exactly static VLAN. Now in case of static VLAN as I discussed it's going to work based on the port numbers. Now let's take an example I got a switch in my network here and assume that there are some specific computers connected in my LAN and I got a switch here. Now by default as we discussed there will be a VLAN 1 and by default all the ports will be in the VLAN 1. So let's assume that I got 24 ports, port number 1 to port number 24. Now the next thing is we can create the VLANs like we did in the previous example. We can create the VLAN 10, we can create some VLAN 20 with some name, VLAN 30 like that. So once we create the VLANs, now the VLAN 10 is uh, belonging to sales department let's say. Now in order to virtually separate, as I said, by default, there will be only one broadcast domain because there is only one VLAN. VLAN 1 is a default VLAN and then there will be only one broadcast domain. But just now we have created multiple uh, virtual LANs. Now the first step, you need to identify what are the specific computers belonging to the sales. Now assume that these are the three devices which belong to sales or the specific computers which belong to some of the sales uh, users. And then there are some specific two computers belonging to the sales. Now your job is to identify on which port they are connecting. Uh, it's connecting on port number one, two, three, let's say. And this is port number four, port number five, port number six. And then this is port number seven and port number eight. And then the remaining ports, let's say this is port number nine and port number 10. Now our job is to identify those specific computers of sales. They are connecting on which port? And you need to shift that particular ports like port number one, port number two, port number three, port number seven and port number eight into a separate VLAN. Now automatically any, any broadcast comes on port number one, the switch will ensure that the broadcast goes only on port number two, port number three, port number seven, port number eight, which means it will be restric restricted within that particular VLAN. So now these three ports and these two ports they, they become as if they are separate LAN, virtually separate LAN. Now they are, they are like separate broadcast domain. 
now similar way if you if you want to do the same thing for other department let's let's take an example i got a marketing department now the vlan 20 now assume that these three ports belongs to marketing department now we need to shift port number four port number five port number six by default they, they are in the vlan one we are shifting port number four port number five port number six into vlan 20 that is marketing department so which means if any broadcast comes on port number five the switch will ensure that it will go only on port number five port number six now these three ports become a part of the separate broadcast domain similar way if you take another example of um, the another department let's say there's a vlan 30 or uh, maybe it department now these are the two computers belongs to it so we need to identify on which port they are connecting port number nine port number ten now we need to ensure that these two ports are on a different vlan and we are shifting the ports now that's how your dynamic uh, static vlan is going to work we are shifting the ports as per our requirement now here you can see port number one two three port number seven eight let me write down once again one two three seven and eight they belong to a separate vlan now to to make this possible in the command line we need to go to the command line we need to say interface uh, in the in the config mode we need to say range command now one thing we can either do individual ports like going to each and every port and doing it but I prefer to use range command where we can define f0 by 1 hyphen 3 which which defines the continuation of the ports 1 2 3 and if there is no continuation you can use comma and we can say f0 by 9 not 9 7 hyphen 8 now when I, whenever I use hyphen it represents that it is a continuation of the ports if I say f0 by 1 hyphen 10 it means all the 10 ports from 1 to 10 if you don't have a continuation in that case we can use f0 by 15 comma f0 by 19 something like that okay so in my scenario I'm not using that many ports here so uh, this way we can we can shift multiple ports at, in in one command and the next command we need to say switch port mode access and then we are going to say switch port access VLAN we need to tell which VLAN I want to I want to apply this particular port in the VLAN tab. Now once I give this command, whatever the ports I have defined in the range command, they all will be will become a part of the VLAN 10 and they will be shifted into the VLAN 10 and we can verify with a command called show VLAN. So let's let's quickly configure and verify this. I'm going to assume this is my scenario. I'll go to the command line of my switch here. So let me just apply a small font here. So let's go to the command line here. On the command line, I'm going to shift port number as per the diagram. In my diagram, I'm going to shift port number. So I'm going to say interface range f0 by 1 hyphen 3 and then f0 by 7 hyphen 8. So either you can write 7 hyphen 8 or 7 comma 8. So the f0 by 7 comma f0 by 8. Switch port mode access. Uh, what is access? What is trunk? I'll be discussing that much more in detail in my next video, uh, where we'll be discussing about the access links and the trunk links. It is a switch port access VLAN 10. Now for verification, we can use show VLAN. Now we can see uh, VLAN 10. We have the ports in the VLAN 10. Now any broadcast comes on port number one. If it is coming, it will only go within that particular VLAN. Okay. So similar way, let's let's do the same thing for the other VLAN. What is that? Uh, port number four, five, six. So we'll shift port number four, port number five, port number six, part of the VLAN VLAN twenty, and then port number nine and ten, a part of the VLAN VLAN thirty. So first four, five, six. So interface range F zero by four, iPhone six. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN VLAN twenty. And interface f0 by 9 hyphen 10 sorry you have to do is range command um, and then switch port mode access and i'm going to shift uh, into vlan 30 and if i verify show vlan now you can see port number 1 2 3 7 and 8 they are part of the vlan 10 
and VLAN 20 they are 4, 5, 6 and the VLAN 30 they are 9 and 10. So now there are four different broadcast domains you can see VLAN 1 is a broadcast domain by default all the ports are in the VLAN 1 now we have shifted those ports into the respective other VLANs now if any broadcast packets comes on port number 1 the switch will ensure that it will send only on port number 2 port number 3 and port number 7 and port number 8 it will not go to any other devices now our requirement is different departments uh, we are going to say that they should be on a different networks so that they should not broadcast that they should not communicate with each other and also they are on different VLANs so now this is the whole idea of of creating the VLANs here so that's what I have discussed just now and this is a syntax here that's what we, we just did and one port can be a member of just one VLAN and for verification we can use either show VLAN or show VLAN brief command for verifying and this is something what we did for creating the VLANs and then shifting the ports now shifting the ports we can do just one one port but that's something not really recommended when you are when you want to shift multiple ports at the same time I always uh, recommend you to use range command if you just have one port there is no need for the range command we can just go to the interface and then use switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN and VLAN number 